Hello there, friends, and welcome back to my channel, Amy McGrew. It's Amy McGrew here, and today I am going to make a few cards with you. I recently was asked about the Hey Handsome card making workshop. Now, every catalog close to my heart creates a card making workshop with all the paper collections that are featured in our idea book. So in our April, May, June idea book, the Hey Handsome card making workshop is right here on page 23. You can see the exclusive stamp set and thin cuts that you get. You can only get this stamp and thin cut when you purchase the workshop. And the workshop comes with all your card stocks, your pattern papers, you get an embellishment, you get your card bases and envelopes. They're always the standard four and a quarter by five and a half size. You get that stamp set and the thin cuts. And then pretty much each card workshop kit allows you to make 16 cards. You're going to make four each of these four different designs. So you do get step-by-step -step instructions on how to create these cards. And these are fabulous. The Hey Handsome is a um, collection that everyone's going crazy for because it's got more of a masculine feel for it. Although I think you can use it for outdoor things, for fall, um, all kinds of things, not just masculine. I love the colors in them, but I am in love with the stamp set. I am in love with the thin cuts, actually. I love the pocket, and if you know me, I have a thing for glasses. So here is the, um, the workshop. Here is the stamp set and the thin cuts and you can see that the pocket and the glasses these are a pretty good size now you get the step-by-step -step instructions just like in our scrapbooking kits you'll see the cards and then you get the step-by-step -step instructions on how to cut your paper and then step-by-step -step instructions on how to build each of your cards so i have been asked um to share some ideas with this collection. So what I thought I would do, what I thought would be fun, would be to make a card right from the um, workshop and then make a card using our Cosette collection, which is one of the collections featured in our April through June idea book and a Hello Darling card. And then um, I have a few extras that I thought I would share with you. So the first thing we're going to do is make the, um, the basic card, one of the basic cards that is in the collection. I love this card, let me show it to you bigger. It looks, we're gonna sand the paper so it totally looks like it's denim, which is really cool. So I went ahead and I already cut my parts and pieces just to save time today. Now, if you don't have a die cut machine, I highly, highly recommend the Close to My Heart one. It is found on page 93 in our current, current core idea book. You can search for it on my website and just um, search, type in the search box die cutting machine. It comes with the plates. This cuts like butter. It embosses like butter. I, It's my best friend. So if you don't have a die cut machine, I'm giving you permission to get yourself a die cut machine because everybody deserves a die cut machine so the first thing we'll do is actually let's go ahead and sand our cardstock I'm gonna bring in my desk pad so I don't get paper shavings all over everything so this is a piece of our harbor cardstock I love harbor this was it debuted two years ago and it was my favorite new color two years ago so like all our cardstock it's double-sided there is a dark side as well as a light side it doesn't really matter which side you use for um, this particular card. I'm going to use the light side and I'm just using an old sanding block. You can use a nail file or um, a piece of sandpaper. If 
you have a husband or a friend who is into woodworking, I go into my husband's wood shop a lot and we'll experiment with different grits of um, sandpaper. But you can see I'm just sanding this paper and I am making sure to get on the sides too to get that washed look. And I love how that looks. Now, another thing you can do is um, get a, um, a paper towel or a tissue. Um, I don't have a tissue here. I left it in the other room. But then you can just wipe it and that will make it even look more like denim. But you know, you could get, um, I have a dish towel that I use to dry my stamps and I just run it over and it works perfect. Now I'm gonna bring in my Versa mat and I'm gonna flip it over to the foam side. And I am going to take this cute little stitched image that's gonna make the stitching on the pocket. So let me see, I think I can get by with my one by one and a half um, ink pad. And then I'm gonna use my Harbor ink to match the Harbor cardstock. That's another cool thing about the Close to My Heart colors is everything matches. Um, and right now, all our cardstock is still currently on sale as part of our cardstock carnival. So it's a great time to stock up on your cardstock. That's a sale that happens once a year. Now, I apologize if you see my head here, but I'm just going to put that image down. I'm letting it sit for a minute to absorb in the paper and there we have our stitching. This pocket reminds me so much of the books, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. That was one of my favorite book series back when I was younger and then it was fun when my daughters read those books. All right, so there we have that. Now I'm going to take the I Just Really Love You stamp. What a great sentiment. I mean, the sentiments <coughs> on this stamp set you could use with other stamps and papers. It's a really good one to have. I think it has a lot of value because you can use it for so many different things. So we'll go ahead and ink this up. And I'm gonna stamp this right below in the center of the pocket. I just really love you. And I think that is all the stamping. And now we can build our card. I'm using my stamp chamois to clean my stamps and put them back on the carrier sheet so I don't lose them. So now I'm gonna bring my Versamat back over. I've got my card base and those card bases come with um, the, the card kit. And I am looking for my bone folder. There it is. I'm just going to give this a crisp fold. And then it's all about building our card. So I am taking my favorite close to my heart adhesive. And I'm just going to add some adhesive. This piece is cut smaller than the card base, so you have that white border. I'm just lining it up on my Versamat so that it's even. These cards would be great for Father's Day or birthday. Okay, there we go. Then we've got our toffee piece, and that's gonna go right up here. And then we've got these two little belt loops. And I am going to leave those, I'm not gonna sand those, so they stand out. So we'll go ahead and adhere our toffee. And I've got the toffee on the light side. And then I'm gonna take my little pieces and add my belt loops. So cute. Now imagine making this card with pinks and purples or yellows and greens and you could turn it into a Mother's Day card which I have something I'm gonna share with you when I get 
to the next card. And then we're going to stick our pocket and you could adhere this with foam tape. I'm gonna adhere it flat and I'm gonna take this little piece of uh, paprika and make it, actually, let me put a little bit of, I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive here too. Well, let's, we'll go ahead and put this down getting ahead of myself because I get so excited when I see these things come to life. And then let me get my, my scissors. Where are my scissors? Here they are. We're going to stick this right in here. So it's got like the tag on the jeans. There you go. And then one last thing that you can do, um, what came in the kit were the gold glitter gems. And yes, you can use gold glitter gems on this card. So we'll put a small one right there and a small one right here for like the hardware on the jeans pocket. And there we have a super simple but fun original card. I love that. So there is the card that the workshop teaches you how to make. Now let's make a card using the uh, Cosette paper. So again, I did pre-cut all my papers uh, just to save time. Now I do have, here's our pocket. And then I did, uh, in that thin cut collection, we do have the um, little um, button, so you can see it right there. And in the stamp set, you even get the, um, the X, so like for the stitching of it. And then this image is the little handkerchief which we are going to stamp. But then these images here, these came from the Cosette card making were, uh, set. So here are all of those flowers. We've got some great sentiments. It does come with a thin cut as well. I love this thin cut because you've got this arch and this oval. I believe right now the stamp set with the thin cuts is not available, but you most certainly can get just the stamp set and they're not that difficult to, to cut out. Now you can see I have um, stamped a whole bunch of them. Lots of times what I like to do when I'm watching TV at night is I'll just do a bunch of thin cutting and stamping and then stick them in my, um, stamp set envelope and then I have them ready to go when I need a project. I love to use the archival black ink pad and that is not necessarily recommended for when you're going to color with um, the alcohol markers, which are tri-blend markers, our alcohol markers or our watercolors. Um, but I love the archival black. So what I do is I stamp and then I let them dry for at least 24 hours, lots of times longer. These have been stamped for probably two weeks already. And I just pulled this out because I wanted to make another card with the pocket, maybe for Mother's Day or a sympathy or thinking of you card. So I just pulled a variety of these flowers out. So what we're gonna do first is um, let's go ahead and stamp our um, handkerchief. That's the only stamping right now that we need to do. So I have my handkerchief on a block and I'm gonna use peach ink. And we'll stamp that. And if you don't have a Versamat, you can use the um, foam piece that comes in your stamp set. All Close to My Heart stamps come, in, come with this um, foam, so you could use that. It looks like my stamp was not cleaned very well, so you know what? We're going to do that again. Let me clean this. I did use it for blue, and maybe I forgot to 
clean that. So we're gonna clean that and we'll let that dry a minute and we'll stamp that again. Let's turn our Versamat over and we'll do our coloring and we'll build our card what we can until we stamp our handkerchief. So I just pulled a few of these from the envelope and I have some tri-blend markers here. I've got gold yellow blend, coral blend, dull green, and ice blue blend. So I'm going to use the light end of my gold yellow and I'll color these flowers. And because these are so tiny, I'm not going to really spend time trying to sh do any shading or layering with my um with my markers with these. So these color really easily. Now I have a question for you. When you thin cut, do you stamp and then thin cut or do you thin cut and then stamp? For the st the leaves and the stems, I'm using the dull green, the midsection. I um, pretty much always will thin cut and then stamp. Um, there's been a few times, depending on the stamp, I may thin cut first, but I think I'm in the minority when it comes to thin cutting. I think most people will stamp and then thin cut. When I have the green out, we'll go ahead and color in these leaves. This set is really, um, I fell in love with this, and this happens all the time. I fell more in love with it when I started creating with it. Um, in the book, I was like, yeah, I, I wanted it for the um, those two big dies. But I tell you, I am using the flowers and the, these leaves more than I'm using the big dies. So um, I do use this one quite a bit. If you're wondering if it's worth getting, I am really enjoying it. All right, so for this one, um, let's do the coral. And I'm gonna use the dark end of the coral blend. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of these. Um, we're gonna kind of play around with it, but um, I have them out, so I'm gonna color them. And then if I end up not using some, I will just put them back in my stamp envelope and I'll have them for another project, which is always kind of nice. I'm gonna use the mid of the coral blend to color these flowers. I do love flowers. I, I'm not like most people who know the names of all of them. Um, my favorite flowers are sunflowers and daisies. Um, I do like tulips. I know what tulips look like. Um, but if you are a gardener or a lover of flowers, this set is for you. I do like to have fresh flowers in the house um, during the spring and the summer too. Now for this last set of flowers, I'm using the ice gray blend. Um, you might be thinking gray for flowers. This is kind of like a cross between a gray and a blue. And I just really like the way it looks with peach. And then we'll color in those stems. When I'm doing cards like this particular one, I, I like to feel like I'm a florist and I'm doing a flower arrangement. So there are our flowers. I'm liking that. Now let's pull in our card base. I'm going to give it a crisp fold. And then I did cut a piece of peach cardstock, and I'm going to use the light side. This card was inspired by a fellow maker, Becca. Um, 
she made some some fun cards with this set and she inspired me so thank you to becca i'm gonna put this um piece of white daisy on top of this so this peach i cut a quarter of an inch smaller so it was four by five and a quarter and then this white daisy piece is just an eighth of an inch smaller so we've got that and then um let's bring in our pocket and i am going to adhere the pocket with some 3d foam tape um, i like to cut my foam tape with a pair of scissors that are different than the ones i used to cut paper the um close to my heart scissors are the best to have i'm gonna just add a little bit of tape um, down at the bottom of the pocket and then I'm going to trim this in half for now and I'm going to put one strip on the side make sure I'm in the camera and the other strip on the side sometimes I'm doing this and I get so into my project and I realize that I'm not on camera <laughs> I love the foam tape for dimension. So I'm gonna put that right about here. And then let's go ahead and I hope I have, yeah, I do. I'm gonna get another one of my little handkerchiefs out and I'll get my foam and let's get our peach. And let's try this again. And you know what I'm going to do this time? I am going to stamp it on a piece of scratch paper just to make sure. A little piece of my desk pad. Almost looks like my ink pad is a little contaminated with blue. That might be the problem. Yep, I think that is the problem. So if you ever accidentally stamp a color, um, a wrong color into your ink pad, what you can do is get a dish towel. So let me get my paper towel works great. And you can just rub it. And lots of times that will clean it up. So let's give that a try. So you can see that looks a little bit blue. So I must have not have cleaned that and I contaminated my stamp. So let's see if this will work. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean my image again with my stamp chamois. And then we'll dry this and let's hope it works this time. All right, that's better. It's getting better. I'm trying to stamp on the edges of the ink pad. All right, we're gonna go for it because we're gonna cover a lot of that handkerchief. So here we go. Third time will be a charm, right? Okay, that's going to be Good enough for the video. All right, so let's cover our ink pad. And then the fun begins because we are going to become flower arrangement people. So I am just kind of playing around with these. Put this one. And then we'll stick this. Thank you. 
And another trick that you can do if um, you adhere too far up and your image you know, sticks out, you can always cut and trim. So what I'm gonna do is put some adhesive on all of these. And I don't know if I need all the different flowers. We'll, we'll see. And we're gonna put some adhesive on this. Now, I want to put this first and then kind of go like this. And then maybe I'll put this one, since it's tall, behind it. And then I like this one coming out like that. Um, I wonder if we could to add some more dark. And then this could hide a little bit more of that. I don't know, I think we need to show more of this, of the handkerchief, so let's see. How about that? I think, I think I like that. Snap that all down. I'm liking that. And then this little bitty button, we'll put a little bit of adhesive on this. So you could totally do white on white. I think that's really kind of classic. Put the button right in the center here, like that. And then in this set, there is the sentiment for a friend like you. And I have that on a block. And I'm going to use my archival black and we'll stamp this right down here in the corner. I like that nice simple font. And then with my black journaling pen, my black Le Pen, I can just do my faux stitching or if you have an actual sewing machine, you could stitch around that piece of paper, but the, the Le Pen works great for this. And I'm just doing dashes. You could do lines, you could do double lines, um, you can do dashes and dashes and dots. Um, there's so many different things you can do. Um, but this card would even be a great card for May Day, which is on Monday. Can you believe Monday is May 1st? So there we go. A really nice spring card. You learned what not to do from me. Make sure that you clean your stamp before you stick it in another ink pad. But I don't even think you can tell. I think that I got my ink pad cleaned and the more stamping I do, the, the more it will come back to that peach color. So we've got a very um, simple masculine type card. And then we've got a very delicate card. And let's do one more. Um, and it's going to feature the Hello Darling um, collection. So what I did is I took some of the Picture My Life cards from Hello Darling. Uh, this set or collection in the book, it will be great for 4th of July or Memorial Day. Um, it's got really fun papers, stickers. I love the the style of the stickers. Uh, it even has a great digital art collection. But the Picture My Life cards are really fun. I pulled the Picture My Life cards because I don't have this stamp set yet. And I don't have this stamp set yet. So I thought I could use these in place of the pattern papers and do something a little bit different. So these are both three by four 
a picture my life cards as you know the the picture my life cards come with four by six and three by fours i use these a lot for embellishments on my scrapbook pages i use them to make cards like i'm using now um, you can also use them for pocket scrapbooking so you have three by four or four by six cards and one side is a horizontal and the other side is vertical i love this whole style i don't want to say it's like water brushed but um or vintage but i i don't know i'm just in love with this and um the red white and blue that's usually not my go-to but these are really fun there's fun patterns i think these pinwheels would be really cute at first i thought i was going to cut them out and put them in the pocket um but I decided on something else. You can see I actually use this gingham and I cut some glasses out of that for a project. It's a cute one for May Day. They've got journaling. You can use them for photo mats. Love that, look at that smile. So one side is usually one color and the other side is another color. Um, but what I did is I took two of the pattern ones. I love mixing and matching patterns. So we are going to take this one and I am going to adhere this. I'm going to line up my card, adhere this kind of on an angle right in the center. And then this one, I'm going to adhere right over it. I like how these two patterns look. You can see the back side of that. That would even work, but I'm, I'm liking the lighter blue. I love this print. I would wear a dress in that print. And we'll just go like that. And then um, I've got my pocket. And you can see I have my handkerchief that I already stamped in the blue. So that's when I forgot to clean it when I went to stamp the peach one. Um, I can show you, I have another handkerchief here. So we can take that same image and I did clean it and I'll take my sapphire and let me get my foam sheet. And we'll stamp this. Again, letting the ink absorb into the paper. So there we have our handkerchief. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this right away so I don't forget. And then I'm gonna pull in the pen die cut. So in the die cuts, we've got the pen and here i have the pen on my block and i am going to use scarlet ink and i'm choosing these colors because these are the colors that are listed in the hello darling collection and i'm going to stamp that down allowing the ink to absorb into the paper so there is our ink pad. And again, I am going to clean that. And then what's really fun, I took the glasses die cut and look what I did. I cut it out of scarlet glitter paper. How fun, who wouldn't love some sparkly glasses? So I showed you when I was showing you the uh, picture of my life cards, here is the gingham glasses. I think those are super cute too, but I thought that the gingham kind of clashed um, and I wanted a red pen. So I went with the sparkly. So I just ran my die with the glitter card stock and I'm loving those glasses. So now what we'll do is we'll build our card. So I'm going to take my pocket. This is when you can kind of pretend like you're a fashion designer and you could do all kinds of different things. So I'm going to put that right in the center. I'm eyeballing it. And then I'm going to get my handkerchief. The other reason why the gingham glasses didn't work was because um, 
the gingham with the gingham. I, I thought that was a little too much. So then we're gonna, oh, before we add our pen, I thought I would pull in my, um, my gel pens. These unfortunately are no longer available, but I thought I would take my silver and just color in the little clip on the pen and I can color in that top just to give it a little bit more detail. And then we'll add some adhesive and I'm gonna stick that in. And then we'll add our sparkly glasses. I just love these so much. I actually have red glasses, but they're not sparkly like that. So there we have that card. And then I'm gonna take my blue Le Pen and I'm just going to doodle around the perimeter like this. So you can see from these three cards using the same stamp and thin cut collection, how you can get a masculine look, a more dainty look, and a more playful look. So when I'm purchasing my stamps, I always, you know, think about that and feel like if I can get a bunch of different looks, then that is a good stamp to invest in because I can use it for so many different things. So now I am just squiggling around that border line, no rhyme or reason, to just giving it a playful look. And there we have our card. And this could be for anything. Um, you know, you can use a sentiment from the stamp set. Thanks for being you. Um, I just really love you. You can use a sentiment from the Cosette. So many different things. I mean, or you can just leave it blank if you have a long note to write inside. You can put a pocket in there and put a gift card in there. So many different things. So there is our Hello Darling with the Hey Handsome. Here is our Cosette. And here is our Hey Handsome. And then I even made some other ones. These are created with some... This pattern paper is actually a shopping bag from a boutique, uh, my favorite boutique downtown. And I like to, the girls there are such wonderful ladies and give such top-notch customer service. So I always like to bring them cards. Here you can see I used some pink stitching to fill in the buttons. And I added a, a flower there. And then here is another one. Again, these are all made with, I just took the, Cut, cut, cut apart the shopping bags and I use the pink glitter paper to make glittery pink glasses. And um, there's another one. So those are really fun. And then here is one more. And this features our Hello Darling paper and the cute strawberry mice that are part of one of the card making classes that Close to My Heart's teaching us next weekend for National Scrapbooking Month. Um, and what I did is I just took the pattern that is the, the card cutting guide and instruction guide that is actually on my website right now. And I just changed the colors from what come in the bundle and use Hello Darling. And there is our pocket and our handkerchief. So you can see how versatile this fun Hey Handsome card kit is. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll make some cards with the Hey Handsome.
And if you like this video and can give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get my channel to grow and by giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button, that will help YouTube to um, help YouTube to know that I am growing and I would appreciate your support. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.